Norman, Hurricane Smith, found success as a recording engineer and producer, but it was as a singer that he would eventually find fame. Born in 1923, Smith grew up in a musical family, learning how to play trumpet, drums, and piano. He served in World War II, training to become a glider pilot, but never saw combat. After the war, he played in various jazz ensembles with little success, leading him to become a recording engineer apprentice at EMI in 1959. It was there that he would work with some of the most influential bands ever. Working with George Martin, Norman engineered all of the Beatles recordings through the Rubber Soul album. It was during that time that John Lennon labeled Smith Normal Norman for his professionalism in tight circumstances, as well as his staid demeanor. Smith would later use this nickname in his 2007 autobiography, John Lennon Call Me Normal. While acting as A&R for EMI, Smith was key in signing Pink Floyd after seeing them perform at London's UFO Club. He would go on to produce four of Floyd's early albums, as well as their second single, See Emily Play. It was during a lull in recording with Pink Floyd that he wrote Don't Let It Die, the first of what would be many hits for him. He initially thought that John Lennon should sing the piece, but was persuaded by friend Mickey Most to hold on to the song after hearing a demo that Smith created, though it would still be a few years before the single was recorded. Smith released Don't Let It Die under the moniker Hurricane Smith in 1971, reaching number two on the UK charts. In addition to changing his first name, Hurricane underwent a complete makeover, sporting a mustache and growing his hair out while adorning himself in the latest hip fashions. All of this happening as he turned 48, which was quite progressive for the time. Yet his appearance was almost comically contradictory with the old-fashioned sound of his songs. This is especially true of his next hit, Oh Babe What Would You Say, released in 1972. The only song of his to chart in the States, Oh Babe evokes a time decades earlier, reflecting the music of his teenage years in the 1930s. Reaching number three on the Billboard charts, it would be the last Americans would hear of Hurricane Smith. But in the UK, he continued to have success throughout the 70s. Minor hits like Who Was It, My Mother Was Her Name, and Beautiful Day, Beautiful Night kept Smith popular. His instrumental, theme from an unmade silent movie, was even adopted by Aston Villa Football Club as their unofficial theme song. After a while, Hurricane went back to being Norman, returning to producing and engineering for a time before retiring to breed horses. Yet in 2003, Smith did eventually return to the recording studio. With his son acting as engineer and producer, Hurricane reprised some of his hits, as well as covered the Beatles song, From Me to You, which was also the title of his last album. Hurricane Smith sadly passed from this world at the age of 85 in 2008, leaving his unique voice and nostalgic songs for us to remember him by. Well, that about does it. I encourage you to seek out more works by Hurricane Smith. Get started by clicking on the links in this video's description to buy some of his songs and help support Alterpast. You can read the original blog post about this subject at alterpast.wordpress.com. Thanks for watching. This is Will Carlson, and I'll see you in the Alterpast.